Hi, my love, beautiful souls, mystical souls, love and love and back with your dark and slight. Please take what resonates and leave it as not. Should be like three non pushing. Okay, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, high school, the most high. Please give me talk back. Please look at what's going on. What's happening? What's the energy? Thank you. Wandering between worlds. Okay, somebody's going in between worlds right now. Okay, that could be why you feel like you're like here one moment and there another moment. Okay, like here and there. Okay, because you're going in between worlds. You're trying to adapt. Okay, look at this is a these blue and purple. That's really pretty. Reminds me of this blue avian, blue rays, bird. Really, really pretty. Okay, stepping into different um, dimensions as well. 52 is significant here. 52 breaks down to 7, which is supernatural, the unknown. It's also God's numbers. Okay, let's see what it says here. Being com comfortable in two states. So you're going in between 3D and 5D. Okay, and you could be going to 5D to 7D, 7D to 8D, 9D dimensions, consciousness. Being comfortable in two states, wandering between realms, reinvention. When the straddling world's card shows up, in, it's an invitation to get used to living with one foot in your old world and one foot in your new. There's no going back to the way things once were, and what will be is not yet fully here. You must feel, find the delicate balance that can bring you delight as you relish the past and all your memories, along with awe as you glimpse the astonishing and exciting future. Do not wait for applause. Move on quietly, humbly, invisible to others. This card brings an invitation to be begin not only a new chapter, but a new book in your life. So rewriting your book, rewriting your life story. I am hearing somebody's going to be writing a story, okay? I did, I heard that, and I'm also hearing, like, your story could be told and can be made into, like, a movie, okay? A TV show, a Lifetime movie, okay? Uh, you know, a lot of people that give their testimony, write a book, a biography, um, it comes, they make them into movies, okay? Your story can be told. Do not break the news to anyone. Let people be surpri surprised as you are, as you reinvent yourself. Make sure you are not just a slightly improved and more polished version of a dated and obsolete you. Birth yourself into something or someone original. Do not feel like you have to explain yourself or be understood by anyone. Become a mystery even to yourself. Gaze into the mirror one morning and be pleasantly surprised. Striling Worlds invites you to become true wizards. Not one who performs magic tricks, but one who has mastered the dance between the visible and the invisible worlds, between the realms of form and formless. You are the birther of new ideas, of original and sustainable ways of being in the world. You believe in aliens, okay? You believe in extraterrestrial. You believe angelic realms. You believe in the unknown. You know that there's good and bad. You know there's uh, demons and angels, okay? You see both worlds. You see it all. Not just with this, what I'm hearing as well as like with this card too, like you know that like you still have to be in this present 3D world. Like I have to be here in the 3D, here living like here right now because I still have, you know, get my kid to school, uh, take my kids to my appointments, you know, feed my kid, um, take a shower, you know, still have responsibilities in this 3D world, okay? So you're going in between this and like still making sure you stay balanced between your 3D and your 5D and 5D is where you're spiritual, you're um, non-physical beings, okay? Where you're doing a lot of work in your dream state and in meditation, it's about a state of consciousness too but again like i said so when we're living a daily life it's hard to like not it's hard to stay in 5d when you have the responsibilities of getting your kid up for school you know having to do that having to do that this and that so you have to stay balanced so you to, you're going between worlds Okay, something about two, you can t uh, freeze time. Okay, freeze time. This means that you can change time. Okay, you can stop time. You can make time go faster. You can also shift timelines. There was some kind of timeline issue in the past that you have now realigned with yourself, your higher self. If you have children right now, like I do, 
um, as they grow up, you will have more time in the 5D, okay? You will be able to be more present in the 5D and not have to worry so much about the 3D. But as you are teaching your children and doing those, taking those responsibilities, you have to be a little bit more present in the 3D, okay? So, being present in the 3D. What's going on here? What else? Moving on. You know there's more to life than meets the eye. That's in front of you. Someone could be backpacking too, hitchhiking. Okay, someone could also like... Um, travel a lot, okay, they like to move, they like to go, they like to, you know, see different places, okay, they, they could have a steady home, have a, a placement where they stay, like, have a home where they go to, but then they're always moving around, so too, like, they have a base, base home, okay, but then they do a lot more, like, you know, a lot of celebrities, elites that get around, they have money, they go travel a lot, okay, um, somebody also maybe travel for their job, backpacking, Someone likes hiking, okay? Hiking, walking. Everything's gonna be okay after all this betrayal. Okay, you went through this healing. Okay, this is you being very emotional. Emotions come and go. Fights, okay? Something about fights too. You could have been in a lot of fights. Someone could fighting with in the past. Conflict, competing against you. Because balance. Justice. Manifesting. There's a, there's a wizard. The magician. Libra. <sighs> magician. Blue and purple could be somebody's favorite color too. Somebody likes those colors together. Somebody likes pastel colors as well. Okay, there's a lot of opportunities, options for you. Don't get stuck in an illusion either though, okay? Because somebody is trying to throw some kind of illusion at you. Okay, something about getting lost in the reality. Okay, somebody could get lost in La La Land, like fantasy world a little bit. It's okay to have imag imagination, imagination as well. That's what I'm hearing. Enlightenment, happiness, joy. Leo again. Oh no, okay, never mind. Sorry, I was thinking that was Leo, but it's not. It's Libra. We have Aries standing up in your leadership role, teaching others. Being a boss, being that emperor, which is divine masculine, okay? Logic, handling your business, taking care of things. A lot of responsibilities as well. And manifesting again, okay? So magician and the ace of wands, this is making things happen in manifestations. In the 5D, when you're in between realms, you're able to manifest, okay? When you're stuck in the 5D, in the higher realms. At a more rapid um, speed, okay? You're able to make something happen. You're able to create more form. Destiny, will fortune, movement. No one's able to stop you, okay? This is nobody able to stop you. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're going to do, no one's able to stop you, okay? This is your purpose, your destiny. You're meant to create magic. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Balancing. You have a balancing act. 
at your age. That's also I'm hearing like you can be a very good um multitasker. Okay, juggling both worlds, juggling back and forth, okay? Like a lot could be thrown on your plate and you're able to like overcome it, okay, and get it done. Okay, so you could have like a list of like 10 things to do in one day and you you um you get them all done. Good at time management too. I'm getting I'm here to good at time management, okay? Judgment awakening. Let's see what else you need to know what's happening here. Blue Avian, twelve dimensional. You got higher state of consciousness here, okay? This is 12 dimensions, okay? The animal, they were animals first, before, before being humans. Messengers from other dimensions, great with te technology, originated from blue rays. Highest vibration of the universe helps humanity with transformation. They keep to themselves rare, gentle wisdom, knowledge, spiritual advance, and telepathic race. Higher dimensional realms, which is greater time and space, past, present, future. You come from blue avian, blue rays. You originated, okay? You originated from blue, avian, blue rays. You are a messenger from other dimensions. You are a messenger from other dimensions. You help others, okay? You bring messages. You help with humanity. You help with transformation. They're not of this world. Okay, we have also grow, goal, reality, opportunity, way forward. People didn't see this, okay? There's people that did not see that you are 12th dimensional, that they did not see that you are a messenger from other realms. Okay, you receive transmissions from other realms. Other galaxies, other planets. Other celestial beings, alien, extraterrestrials. You receive those messages and you are here to deliver. You are here to bring those messages to the people, to humanity, Okay? Because of your state of consciousness, the dimension that you have in between worlds. A lot of people say you can't reach the 12th dimension, okay? God is at 10th. Okay, I think it's God. They say God is at 8, 9, 10. Okay, but you're up there. Okay, you're up there with God. Like, you receive a message from God, too. You are a messenger. You are a channeler. As it says on the back, past, present, future, time, and space. Okay, the last reading came out too about time travel. You could time travel. You can go into the future to see what needs to be seen. Not everything, but seeing something to help others, okay, for their purpose, okay? Help them get on their path. And prevent something from bad happening. I'm hearing you can also prevent something from bad happening, Okay. Living your life to the fullest. Okay, we also have Crystal uh, Children. Crystal, 1980s to late 1990s. They feel homesick, highly empathetic, deeply spiritual, close connection to Mother Gaia, Earth, healers. Okay, Reiki healing. Um, can feel and heal at the same time. So you're here to heal and feel at the same time. So you feel things that you can heal at the same time. Okay, you do feel homesick. That could be why too. Between these worlds, you feel a little bit homesick. Okay, you feel like you're not. You like you feel like you're not meant to be here. You feel like you have to go back home. Okay, you want to go back home because this place feels a little bit off, a little bit different. Okay, because this place right now, a lot of people, majority of people, are in a low vibration. Okay, uh, in three three D consciousness still. A lot of people have not ascended. And so it can be a little bit difficult being here and delivering these messages as well. Okay. You felt like you were abandoned. You may have um, had to leave your planet, your, your, um, where you originated from because something bad happened there. Okay. There are like Minnetonkans. They no longer have Minnetonkans. Minnetonkans been gone because it's been destroyed. So here you feel a bit abandoned or somebody abandoned you when you were a child. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. K 
Okay, what else do I got here? We have CDs. Seven Sisters, Deeper Level of Consciousness. Deeper Level of Consciousness. Human Race Evolved, Golden Age Transmission, Fifth Dimensional, Love, Creativity, Reiki Healing, Crystal Healing, Counseling, Life Coach, Recovery Coach, Peer Specialist, Therapist, Lightworkers. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, you could be a little bit emotional or uh, emotionless, which means like, okay, emotionless means that uh, you used to feel a lot, you used to have a lot of emotion, but now that you have ascended to a higher consciousness and um, activated your star seed, your alien species, okay, you activated the, the alien uh, DNA in you. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get. You activate your alien DNA in you, and when you hit, reach that higher consciousness, um, extraterrestrials, aliens, don't have emotions, you guys. Okay, when they're at uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dimension consciousness, they don't have the emotions that we have he here on Earth as humans. Okay, we're very um, emotional here. And as you um, activate your DNA, you start not feeling those emotions anymore okay you know that life still goes on your soul still goes on okay you know that it's a life circle like somebody dies somebody's born somebody's born somebody dies okay you know when one door closes a door opens up okay when um it's time to close something out something new begins okay when someone leaves your life someone new comes in okay you understand that so you may not have those emotions you may not cry as much you may not be angry as much you may not you know you may not even show as much emotion of love either, okay? Affection as much. But it doesn't mean you don't have it. It's just that you, you're you at that level and you just, it's, it's peaceful, it's blissful. So you don't have to show all that emotion. It's just you're, you're there, happy, peaceful. I hope that makes sense. A lot of people don't realize that. Because you're just in pure bliss, pure love. Confirmation. Pure bliss, pure love. When you reach that state of conscious mind, there's no fear, there's no hate, there's no sadness. Because you, you know, too, okay, what I'm trying to get is you know that you will see your family members again, okay, in the heavens. You will see them in the afterlife, okay? You know that it's not an ending. You know this infinity, okay? When we look at infinity sign, infinite, okay? You know that you can be reincarnated, okay? That's why you may not be as emotional either. Waking up. Following the signs home. Soul recognition. So some people may feel like you're a little bit cold-hearted or like you don't care or you don't think about their feelings, but you do, okay? And you're not cold-hearted. It's just like you're just, it's, you're just living. You're just living. That's why aliens, that's why aliens want to reincarnate. That's why other souls, the souls that are, have not reincarnated, the souls that are still wanting to be, come here to earth. The reason those souls want to come here to earth, they want to live a living, uh, a human experience because they want to be able to feel those emotions. They want to be able to laugh, cry, be mad, angry, or whatever. They want to live that, okay? So there's a lot of souls that want to reincarnate, okay? A lot of souls that want to be here right now where we are at this moment in time. Because they want to have that human experience. They want to have, feel those emotions. And right now, being a soul, they don't have those emotions. They don't have those feelings. And they want to experience it. They want to know what it's like. <laughs> when they get here, they're probably like, wish that, um, I don't know if I want this. And that is something, okay, when I just said that, sometimes when there's a stillborn, or a miscarriage, or, you know, a, a baby passing away at a very young age or a child or a toddler passing away at a very long, young age. One thing that um, Spirit has told me is one reason uh, 
they have mis uh, the mothers have miscarriage stillborns and babies passing away at a young age, you know, months, year, couple years old, is because their soul was not fully ready to be here on earth. So they were they're excited to come here. They signed a contract. They're ready to, you know, to go into the mommy, okay? They they chose because souls we choose, we choose our moms. Okay, we choose our moms and our dads. So I chose my mom and my dad. I chose my karmic mom and my dad. I chose them before coming here, okay? And I knew that they were going to be karmic. I knew I was going to go through these experiences, and I signed on for that, okay? And But I did not remember when I was born that I was going to have to go through all this emotion, all this pain, and all this suffering, go through addiction, go through a car accident, go through being abandoned, being abused, okay? Uh, being neglected by my favorite family. I you don't remember that because you have amnesia. Okay, you, you have amnesia when you are born. So there are souls that have, like the babies, there's the souls, when they have miscarry, the moms that miscarry and stillborn and babies that pass away a couple months old or young, it's because their soul, they didn't realize how tough it was going to be here and their soul wasn't ready. So they decide to go back home to Source Creator God, to the heavens, and then they come, become an angel. And they can choose to be incarnated or stay there a little bit longer. Some choose to stay, some choose to be incarnated right away. But at that moment in time, if their mama had a miscarriage or if a mom lost a child at 11 months old from some kind of um, cerebral palsy seizures or some kind of accident or some kind of health issue is because the baby, the soul wasn't ready to be here. Okay, the soul got scared. The soul was afraid because it's like, wow, I signed on for this and like now. But see, the, the baby doesn't know that. The baby doesn't know. Because they have amnesia. But the soul knows. Our soul knows. Like my soul knows. And that's why when we sometimes the things that we do. It's like why are we doing this? Why are we not? Because our soul already knows. But we still do it because we forget. Okay. We have that amnesia coming here. And then we're activated from some kind of trauma or an accident or a parent dying. Like I was activated when my grandpa died. But then I my kundalini i went through another activation with my car accident so it was some trauma okay that activated me to remember who i am where i came from that i am not from this place my soul is not from here it did not originate from earth i originated actually i know that i was a bird i know i was a dolphin in one of my lives okay so we don't like we don't remember and then when we pass one reason, too, is when we pass, when we die, like me, I'm not scared of dying anymore because my car accident. I know that this vessel ain't going nowhere. This vessel is going to be buried or burned, okay? It's going to be cremated or be buried into the ground, this vessel, the, my avatar, my body. But my soul's not. And so when I die, what happens, we go back into the ethers, we go back into the spiritual realm, we go back into the spiritual realm, and we don't remember, Okay, we don't remember. We have amnesia again. So we come into this earth with amnesia and we leave this earth with amnesia. So we don't remember. It's just our, but our soul knows. Our soul knows. But our memory doesn't. Okay, we, we don't remember. So again, we were born into this world with amnesia and when we leave this world, we have amnesia. Okay, so we, none of us will know exactly what we're going to be going through when we die. Okay. What really really exactly happens. Just know that we just leave this vessel, but our soul keeps going on. Until you end up leaving at that last moment, only the person knows, but you won't remember. Okay, again, you'll have that amnesia. Okay, I'm just going to grab a couple, and then my husband's home, so I'm going to end this. I'm going to bed. Tired. Wealth. Okay. Could become wealthy. Money. Spiritual wealth. This could be spiritual wealth, too, okay? Spiritual wealth, spiritual knowledge. Okay, I don't know why we have a district attorney involved. Okay, a DEA, prosecutor. You could be a prosecutor or you could be dealing with one. Someone could be going to court. A femme. One more. Give me some other energy you want to come out now. Okay. Work. Okay, your psychic abilities are being activated as well. 
these psychic gifts come from the higher ups, okay, the hierarchy. From spiritual beings, from angelic realms, from your ancestors, and also from God, Prime Creator. And if you don't think that, like, I know that, like, a lot of Christians or a lot of people, like, in the church don't believe in aliens, but if, if you really feel, if you really think that there's no aliens out there, the thing is, is you believe that God created us, you know, Prime Creator, well, why won't God create aliens? Why won't God create other, uh, uh, planets that have beings on there, okay? Species on there, you know? So, you have to really look at that, too. So, um, we're not the only things. We're not the only ones out there. Okay, the animals look at everything else. We're not the only ones. It's just we are at a lower um, This planet is at a really low frequency vibration where they're not able to see and connect And that's the thing is extraterrestrial beings are unable to connect with human beings because human beings are so freaking stuck in In the matrix and stuck being programmed conditioned that they don't want to be they don't want to see Because they're living in a 3d world 3d conscious so they are unable to connect with you or me or anybody because we're living in a 3D consciousness. What? I actually have something that goes with this, guys. What she's talking about, you know, in real life, they tell you you have five senses of things, but we really have 22 to 33. That means we can sense all these things that she's talking about, the godly stuff, the spirits, all that stuff. We have those senses. It's a medical fact. You can look it up. We just heard them. And it's not five, it's actually seven senses within them. It's 22 to 33. Okay, but it's usually not five. Huh? It's not. Well, touch, smell, sight, taste, and or one of them. No, feel. Yeah. See, no, feel. Yeah. That's, seven. That's what I just said. Yeah. I guess it's 22. 22 to 33. But yeah, so like a lot of us, like there's a lot of people that are here right now are not able to see. I can see. Cause I, I've already ascended. I've ascended and like I've ascended to 5D. I'm not living in a 3D. Yeah, I'm like I said, you're in between worlds, which I still am here in the 3D, but I'm also living in the 5D. And a lot of people right now are not living in the 5D. They're living in the 3D, but more people are awakening up. And I've talked about that many, many times. Okay. If if you're still stuck on, if you're still sitting there stuck on watching politics and the news 24 seven and watching all this freaking campaign shit, you're still stuck in the 3D. Okay, if you're still stuck on the uh, watching social media, which even watching YouTube, you're still stuck in the 3D. Okay, do you still th that's the 3D, okay? Being in the 5D is connecting with spirits in the nature, okay? But being like I'm, I'm going to be say I'm going to be straight up watching the news, politics, all that stuff, watching that stuff, that is 3D. Okay, that is 3D. They want to keep you stuck, the fake news, all that stuff. Okay, really where you connect with extraterrestrials is in nature and in meditation and in your dream state. And you do a lot of work in your dream state. That's a lot of, that's why I love dream, I love, I love sleeping because a lot of our, our work we do in the dream state. That's when we connect with the ancestors. That's when we connect with uh, non-physical beings, past loved ones. And where you can connect with God in the dream state as well. So... But yeah, you're a messenger. You're a messenger from the higher dimensions, okay? You are here to bring messages and um, assist in humanity's uh, evolution, assist in the ascension process. Okay, that's what, that's what you're here to do, is to help assist in the ascension process and help wake people up. Bring them to a higher consciousness state of mind, okay? Come into Christ consciousness. Remember Christ consciousness um, into their life force, into the Merkaba as well. But people will try to um, stop you and stop others as well. Especially the dark elites. They don't want people to know about this. They want to keep it shut. And that's why they that's why they push so much agenda about the politics and news media and all that stuff. So you stay stuck on that. So you can't, you know, look out elsewhere. Use your unicorn. If you don't know what your unicorn is, it's your third eye. Your unicorn, okay? The third eye. See things that other people can't see. Let's close this out. Stargate of Ly Lyria. Expand your casual chakra. Enter the unicorn kingdom. 
see the unicorn third eye right there you guys where you can see expand access your gifts explore your treasure chest accept who you truly are you need to accept that you are a messenger okay that you are here to deliver messages from other dimensions blue rays blue avians lyrians because there's lyria 20 or 36 be a beacon be an inspiration light the way for others Eight thirty-three. Higher wisdom, progress, healer, shaman, witch, self-confidence, light worker, star seed. Okay, you're being activated. You're receiving downloads, uh, DNA activation. Okay, uh, new messages coming in too. Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, and number four. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing, namaste.